Today we're going to be changing the control arms on this here Ranger. You can see it's moving or not, but yeah, they're bad. But I was going to show you how to do it. It's on my Dodge video. I showed you how to do the uh, torsion bars, how to crank them up, and you get some too much positive camber in there. So, what you can do here, you can adjust your camber with your upper control arms. It'll move the the top of your tire in and out. I'll show you how to do that. But I'll get there in a minute. Today's April 15th and I don't know if you can see out there, but it's snowing outside. So I actually gotta take these studs off here. It just took them off my other truck and started snowing. But we gotta get a fire going, get these studs off and get reset the computer in this truck. So I will show you how to do that as soon as possible. All right, show, I'll, I will show you how to adjust the control arms here. The light there. Ah, so basically, there's these cams. You can see right there. There's one on there, and then there's one on the other side there. And then go over here. Same thing. So you want to, there's a nut on the end there. You want to loosen that nut. And then on this side too. And then you got to turn the bolts. The bolts have flat spots on there that are hooked to the cam so when you turn the bolt it turns the cam. So you, you have to turn them even though because if you turn this one more then this one is going to throw your alignment off. It's going to pull it, your wheel in or out. So if you turn them the same it's going to pull this control arm. It's either going to push it out or it's going to push it in. So on this truck, I ha actually have just like some positive camber in it, just because it makes it look cool, I guess. I don't know, but if you, if you have too much positive camber, it'll, it'll wear your tires down. But I always rotate these tires, so you know I live the camber life, I guess. Positive camber. I don't do negative. I'm all positive in my life. But uh, I'll show you once I get it apart here a little bit more about it. To get it. I gotta replace this, so if you don't have to, of course, of course it ain't doing now, but the bushings in there are bad. So I got new control arms, and this your ball joints up here too. So if your upper ball joints are bad on this particular truck, most of them they're all this way too. You gotta change a whole assembly. They're pretty cheap though, not too bad to do. So I'll show you a little bit more when I get it apart here. Just take this out you might have to take your sway bar off to let your uh, lower control arm assembly just fall down the whole way so I'll see this one it might just pop off of that I'll try it I just wanted to point out make sure you keep a jack under there in case it comes flying up because it is under pressure but on this one I didn't have to take my sway bar off just take that nut and bolt out and you can see it's like tapered so it fits down in there and then I made refer reference marks on my cams and then on the frame there itself that way I can get it back to right where it was hopefully sorry I got a little busy there and forgot to record the rest of it but just got the new one in and like I said this the cams here, this bolt will come out. This cam's welded onto there. And then this one here falls off. So you gotta make sure you get that on. And same with this side. And I had reference marks on there, but you always want to double check because these might be yeah a little bit different. So I checked it. I had to move my tie rod a little bit there. So you can always readjust it. You see on the old one here, bushings weren't too bad, but they were you know, definitely wore out. But yeah, if you have any questions about it, just let me know.